welcome to this help talk session in our last session we had an overview of the five different viral types of hepatitis including hepatitis b this time around we're gonna have a look at the symptoms of hepatitis b most people with hepatitis b virus infection do not have any symptoms until it's too late and according to the world health organization one in four adults with chronic hepatitis B virus infection will die from liver cancer or liver cirrhosis. The disease has two major symptomatologies, be it acute or chronic. Acute hepatitis B lasts for a few weeks to six months, whereas chronic hepatitis B lasts for years. Some of the symptoms of acute hepatitis B, if they appear, include fever, fatigue, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, dark urine, clay colored bowel movements, joint pain, jaundice, does yellow color in the skin or the eyes. And this yellowish appearances is due to the increased accumulation of blue ribbon in the body due to the damage of the liver because the liver conjugates the unconjugated blue ribbon to conjugated form and makes it more soluble to be I mean, excreted by uh, I mean, the, the kidneys or renally but due to the damage of liver the normal catabolism of blue ribbon ceases to take place and the increased levels of blue ribbon makes your eyes look yellowish and as well as your bowel movements and your urine and even it is seen on the skin right so with a chronic hepatitis b some people having on i mean some people have ongoing symptoms similar to acute hepatitis b but most individuals with chronic hepatitis B remain symptoms free for as long as 20 to 30 years. About 15 to 25 percent of the people with chronic hepatitis B develop serious liver conditions such as liver cirrhosis, in other words, scarring of the liver, or liver cancer. Even as the liver becomes diseased, some people will not or well, some people still do not have symptoms although the blood i mean certain blood tests like transaminase uh, blue ribbon tests of blue ribbon and many more could reveal uh, some abnormalities like liver fibrotic liver cirrhotic liver or liver cancer in these patients All right, now the question is, how do I know if I have hepatitis B? Basically, blood tests in the laboratory will look for the presence of antibodies or antigens of hepatitis B virus and can help determine whether you have an acute or chronic infection, whether you've been, I mean, recovered from the infection, whether you are immune to hepatitis B. If you are, if, la, if the lab tests show that you are negative, then it could, from this, they could also, I mean, determine whether you could benefit from a vaccination against hepatitis B. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to subscribe. If you'd like to have more information on the transmission of hepatitis B, please click on the next video. Stay healthy and see you in the next video.